Hi guys, George from Cyprus Insight. And this morning we're at a village called Amonostos, which means asbestos. And there was an asbestos mine here from 1904 to 1984. And the railway line that we went to see in Paphos ran down along here and they put the asbestos on the trucks on the railway and took it away so we're going to go down to see the abandoned hospital which is down there you see and I think the abandoned village is further down can you see and there's the mine I think that looks like the mine down there as well hopefully we might be able to drive down there, I'm not sure. And have a look. Right, let's go down to see the abandoned hospital. Right, there is a track down to it. Here we are, we're at the back of the hospital at the moment. Right, there it is. Let's see if we can get round the front and get inside. Oh, wait a minute, there's a door here, or is it a window? No, there's a window there. Ah, oh, one moment. There's the window. There we are. Let's go see if I can get through these bushes and have a look through the window. It's a bit difficult. Let's have a look. There we are, you can see it is a typical hospital looking building. I'm going to go around the front and see if we can get in. Around the back, what's that to say? Not a lot. Well here we are, look. Yeah. One of the wards. Yep. Table tennis bat. Oh, let's go around. Yeah, not a lot left. So not totally abandoned as such as shut down, I would say, because they've taken a lot of the stuff out in fact they've taken most of the stuff out there's another room with a typical swinging doors so you can get the beds in and out of the rooms oh here we are yeah there was a a little water feature here wasn't there And you can see that the hospital was lined with asbestos. Can you see? There's the asbestos. There it is. And there's a massive room in there. We'll go around the front so you can get in properly. There we are. Oh, here we are. There's an entrance and a walkway, so we'll go in the dark bit first. We will need a torch. There's more outbuildings down below, but let's go in here first. Oh, some kids are being in here. So here we are. In the abandoned. So this must have been a reception or lobby area. Ah, there's the ward numbers, yes, on the top, E. And then a little ward here. Yeah, let's go around and have a look. Another ward.
to this side oh come in here look there's an old sink bathroom looks like yeah there we are double sink and then we'll go further into the hospital and have a look around, see what's at the back. Is that a fireplace? There's a fireplace. This is a big room. Look at this massive room. Old lava and plaster ceilings. Yeah, there's the windows, so these probably kept shut, and then this one for ventilation, you see. Right, some storage left behind. Bathrooms, and there's the swinging doors. They are still working. Not that one. Not really. Oh, someone's hip wishing me a happy birthday. There we are. Let's go in this one. This looks like the theatre. It's a theatre room. And a cupboard, metal cupboard, where they probably kept some instruments and lights. There we are, in the theatre room and you can see where the big light came down on this pole at the top. There we are. And probably in here was uh, where they prepped the patient's ready for an operation. And then through to the ward, where hopefully they would recover. Right. And there's a gully here, look. Can you see? It's probably where they used to clean everything down the sluice, as they say. And I don't know what this is. This outbuilding, and we'll go down to the further down to the second building. See what there is. Be careful, mind your step. Some of these steps have worn out. Ooh, it could be for outpatients, maybe. Oh, now I think we've come across the mortuary. There's a slab here what 
is that? That's a There's a bird's nest in there, yeah. So there's the slab where they do the post-mortems of the unfortunates. And we'll go in this outbuilding here. It's like a toilet. Baths and toilet area. And this room here. Unusual shape. Can't work out what this was for. Right, and this room. Oh, that's another bathroom. Yeah, so have a bath in here, then you can get changed in the other room that we've just been in. Maybe we've been. Have we have we been in that building there? No, we haven't been in that building. Oh, oh there's another door. Oh. Yes, there is. Let's go through there. Oh, there's the boiler room. Heat up the hospital. There we are. You can see the old boiler. We'll get in there. What we got here? Oh, some more buildings here. Let's have a look inside this one. This outbuilding. This is made of stone. And then plastered. Give us a clue of what it's for. No. No clue of what that was for. Anyone seen any clues of what this building's for? Nursing staff, there's some shelving there. Or maybe for outpatients. Come on this area. There we go. Oh that hot water tank wow it says uh lemon sauce on it so that's where it was made and there's a boiler looks like a coal-fired boiler no i think it was gas guys yeah the pipes going in there possibly a gas boiler let's go up there's steps up here this it's all stone in here seems very damp cold let's walk up these steps up here you can see a little bit of radiator left behind oh we're back through where we started Yes, we are. Look, there we are. Back through where we started, and we can go out this way. So we went all the way round. The only other bit we didn't see is further down this side. What we got here then? Looks like we've got a, some sort of water tank. Ah, oh, some sort of cleaning tank. Can you see? Lights. The top. Not sure what this room was for. 
and then it goes on. Probably an extension to the hospital, this bit. These are wards. Oh. And the bathrooms connected to the walls, are they? Could be. Not really sure. Some buildings that have collapsed totally at the back here. You see the roof. We go out to the garden. Here we are. Yeah, that's collapsed. Beautiful view. Oh, an outside toilet. Further down. Oh yes, oh there is. Marked 508. Right, let's see if we can see the village, shall we? I think it's down below there. And the mine. There's the mine. There. Can you see? Let me see if I can step up here. Right, there's the mine. It's open mine. And then the road goes round down to the village. Over there then. Look at this. It's hidden away underneath this undergrowth. Looks like uh, oh no, it's the oil. Oh so the boiler was oil fed, not gas, of course they don't have they didn't have gas then. It's an oil container. There it is. It's in there, guys, the red thing. So the boiler run on oil. Oh, that's that mystery resolved. Right, and right at the top of the road is a phone box. There we are. Hasn't got the original phone in it, I think it's been updated. So people can ring home and see what's going on. There's the old entrance to the mine and the guard house. Not And we'll go further down. Now we'll go down and turn left, shall we? What's that say there? Visitors. Visitors. Right, hopefully this has taken us down to the mine and the village. So most of the village was abandoned, but there is about 80 odd people living here now. I suspect that'd be the newer part. Right, so we'll turn left here. And there's a car park area. So we're going to make our way down to the mine, I think. There's a map over there that should tell us what's going on. This is a proper visitor centre guys, unlike the hospital, which is just over there. You can see it where we've just been. Okay, where the car is. And some information and some walks you can do. Right, there's a few sponsors for the place. And one of them does dry wall solutions. No, I don't think it's asbestos, guys. 
Right, we'll go down to this building here, the visitors building. What a beautiful place. Looks like uh, everything's been restored. They've got an outbuilding over there. And this wonderful building here, look at that. Now this looks like the railway station we saw at Paphos. Very similar. Look at the old telegraph poles. Okay. There are ten rooms and you can go around. There is a lake, you can get there by foot from right. the parking, you follow the road down to the middle of the mine and there is the botanical garden up from here. Go to the main Oh yes, we've been there. to the garden, haven't we? Yes. It's the garden outside. That's it right, is, beautiful uh, garden. Yes. Okay. Here in the mine. In general you walk uh, or uh, do trails in the area, there are 22 natural trails, you can take this. Right, yeah. There are the monuments and the waterfalls in the area. Okay. If you are interested more for geology, there is a geological map about uh, uh, this unique geology. Oh, we'll take that because we're often coming up here for our walks. Okay. Perfect. Okay, you can take... Right, we're in the museum and we're going to see a film all about the area. There we are. It's just free euros to get you guys. in the heart of the island of Cyprus, which is located in the easternmost part of the Mediterranean. Here we are showing us all the different types of rocks. Man, they're beautiful. Red jasper with iron phosphite. Looks like they found some fossils up here too. Wow, well, that's a heavy one, isn't it? Wow, oh, that's amazing. There's quite a lot of this type of rock around. I don't know what it's called. That's oh, nice. There's a massive geological map. Look. Ah, oh, there's the mine down there. Can you see it? Whoa. Oh, these are all different mines in the area. Oh, that's down there. That's right at the top. Oh, what's, what's that one? Oh, that's a fault line. Oh, what one's that? That's the Artemis Trail that we've recorded. Oh, that's the Artemis Trail, guys. Can you see it lit up? We did a video of that when we walked around it. That's a great... Yeah. That, that's where we are now. Just lit up. Right, let's go around. Oh, look at this. Little tree. You can go in. And see a video. fantastic place to visit guys it's just three euros to get in 
lots to do for the kids and look at. glass and it's called Selenite no, and it's round it's found round Arad Dipu which is near our village. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's walk around this next area where there's some microscopes and we can see some different geological bits under a microscope. Oh, this is showing us all the bits and pieces the miners used. There's the miners' hats, some old tins they used to take to the mine. Masks. The masks. There we are, number 27. It looks like they've got some sort of uh, emergency supply there. Number 30, let's have a look. There's a medical set with surgical injection and needles oh, and there's the asbestos fibre mm -hmm. let's go to the next room oh so this is the demonstration of how they used to set the copper out the or and these are the uh, bellows here you see heat it up and take it out and there's the truck coming from the mine let's go in and have a look into the mine there's an old kango Hold it there. Looks like it's running off air. So it looks like this drilled the hole there. This can go, and they would put the dynamite in, and boom, off it went. Right, through to the gift shop. little bits we can buy. So there's the little trucks that they put the asbestos in. Take them out of the mine, you can see. And I do believe they should tip. You can see it's slightly curved on the bottom. It should tip into the railway carriages. Oh, carriages. Yeah, these are little carriages that came from the mine. Fill it up with asbestos and then, oh, here we go. Does it still move? Look at that. There we are. And then it was uh, tipped onto the railway and taken down to Limassol. Coming down from the museum, which is, oh look at those grapes guys, beautiful, and it's, uh, they've made a support or grapevine out of the old railway tracks, I'll show you that now, there it is, there's one cut, there can you see it, right, let's get closer shall we, and it looks like an abandoned beautiful old house, or oh, it could be part of the mine. All right, let's go and have a look at the railway sleepers, the supports for the grapevines. Look, there's a grapevine there, and there's some beautiful grapes hanging off it. 
and they've used some of the old wire from the telegraph poles there they are some more railway line there very sturdy good idea right let's go and have a look might have been the headquarters for the mine this little veranda area let's see what we can see in the edge here mm. not a lot just a beautiful view right, let's go inside so we've got stone and cement we'll go inside have a look here we are so have we got any torch it looks like some of the doors from other buildings have been left in here you know, in perfect condition or perhaps they might use them again so have a look around here yep yeah, more doors Beautiful built-in cupboard there underneath the window. And we'll, just, we'll go around here first, have a look at this room. There we are. There's another cupboard underneath the window. It's a good idea. Right, we'll carry on, go through. Beautiful door, look at this one really good condition no wonder they've kept them wooden floors unusual for cypress isn't it we'll go in here all oh, this is dark all oh, looks like it's a furniture being left behind so this place is really abandoned built-in corner cupboard let's have a look inside nothing inside that one some mattresses let's go further inside oh coming up to the kitchen there we are old butler sink work top the old fuse box up there fantastic oh what's that oh there's the oven don't know what that's doing in here oh look What's that? An old uh, jar of this cafe. So there's still some in there. And a hold hat. Here we are. There's a hat. Some clothes. This. Some clothes being left behind. And I'll go on. To this room here more doors being stored in here and there's an old carpet there's the bathroom I think yep yeah, toilet an old cistern look at that has it got a date on it sometimes they do no but it's made in England cast iron yeah. another floor is that the loft and that could be the loft what a marvelous place oh here's where the fire was look can you see look this is part of the geo park if your bike breaks there's all the tools to fix it there and the pump and then you just hang the bike off this brilliant well that was a good discovery wasn't it guys abandoned hospital and the uh, abandoned asbestos mine and the museum 
thoroughly enjoyed that. I hope you did too. Don't, don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. And look us up on Instagram, Cyprus Insight. And if there's somewhere you'd like us to go, put it in the comments below.